Hello everybody, today we are going to be unboxing the Globular Cluster Comfortable Mod for the Quest 3, but that's not it because we also have a magnetic facial interface for the Quest 3, and again that's not it because we also have a silicone light blocker for the Quest 3. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to Globular Cluster for sending me all these products to review on the channel for free. This is not a paid sponsorship, but I did want to let y'all know that I did in fact receive all these products for free. So again, thank you very much Globular Cluster for sending me all these products, I really do appreciate it. So let's waste more time and go ahead and get into the unboxing starting with the comfortable mod but let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the box you know looking at the front you know we do have a little bit of a picture of what this headset is actually going to look like and then we have some text right above it that says specially designed for open face mode glasses friendly no fog no pressure on the cheek more grip less tighten needed to keep the sweet spot so that's always nice and then moving on to the right side we have some product features so let's go ahead and go through these Anti-slip silicone rear pad provides more grip and support, so you do not need to tighten the straps as much as other brands to keep the sweet spot and the whole headset stable. So that's sort of what they were saying on the front. And then moving down, we have heavier rear pad benefits uh, for front rear weight balance. So I'm assuming they have a heavier thing on the back to make sure the whole headset stays balanced on your head. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that because they're also adding weight to the headset, which uh, is not too good, but who knows? We'll have to see when we actually try it out. And then we have uh, Ola plus top strap hybrid design, better than the other brands Ola. I'm not sure what Ola means. Maybe that's a typo, <laughs> um, but uh, let me know if y'all know what that means. Uh, and then we have because the top strap effectively distributes some pressure from the forehead to the top of the head. I do understand that, but uh, I'm not sure what the Ola is. And then we have uh, three different types of forehead pads to meet different season scenario. Uh, user preference. I do like that, you know, because I don't usually like the cloth ones because, you know, that's sort of just absorbing all my all my sweat and all of that. I do like the ones that are like a leather pad, so we'll have to see um, uh, if they got that in there. And then moving down, we have modular design, easier upgrade battery slash headphone module can be purchased and installed separately. I don't know if they mean from them or from other uh, brands, but again, we'll have to see when we actually open it up. So let's go ahead and finally open up this bad boy. Here we go. Oh, so it does look like, did I open it the, I hope I opened that the right way. Taking a look inside and would you look at all those goodies. Oh yeah, real quick, they wanted me to let y'all know that this does not in fact come with this anchor battery. Um, they just sent it to me for the review, you know, to sort of give an accurate representation of what it can do. Um, but yeah, it does not come with this anchor battery, um, but that's cool that it does have that feature to where it can fit anchor batteries. I'm not sure if it's only anchor or if you can fit other third party uh, brands in there. Um, but yeah, you know, this is just to extend that battery on your Quest 3 when you're playing it wirelessly. Um, but yeah, thank you again for sending that for the uh, review. Um, but yeah, taking a look inside, we have a bunch of different stuff right here. I'm assuming these are the little forehead pads right here. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is probably the one I'll be using. I like this little, uh, like this little fake leather. I don't know if it's a, uh, I don't know what it's called, but um, I like it like this because, you know, I am, I tend to be sweaty. <laughs> so, you know, I can just rub it off after um, I'm done playing. But yeah, I do it like this. I don't really like the cloth ones because it sort of absorbs all that. But yeah, we have that pad right there. And then moving on to the next one. This one's, uh, this is probably that cloth that I was talking about. Uh, it's really soft though. I will say that, but uh, I probably won't be using this one. Um, so yeah, there's that black cloth right there. And then uh, it looks like the other one is uh, already on the little uh, headset itself. Let's go ahead and move that to the side though real quick. Um, this is the sort of back pad for, uh, I guess, the back of your head. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely breathable. <laughs> That's a pretty cool little accessory right there. And then moving that to the side, um, we have another pad right here, which is also... Uh, I think this one is just like that other one, or this might be silicone. It looks like silicone, but I might be wrong. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that's definitely silicone. Ooh. Something satisfying about this. <laughs> Something is satisfying about this. Sort of reminds me of like an office chair, but. So yeah, this is the silicone rear head pad. Uh, so we have that one, and then we have this one, which sort of has that little hexagonal, I think that's a hexagon, a hexagonal little design or the honeycomb sort of design. It sort of feels like one of those uh, mattresses. I forgot what that company is, but you know, those uh, those little hexagon, little mattresses thing. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. You know, I was thinking the cloth pad, but I might go with this one. <laughs> I actually like that. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like squishy. <laughs> it's squishy. That's nice. Okay, so yeah, we have two of these rear pads right there. Um, and then taking a look in the box, we also have some more items. Now, I'm not sure if they sent me this cable uh, because it comes with the actual thing, or maybe they just sent me it because uh, they also sent me that battery. So yeah, this is a maybe. I wouldn't say that you, uh, I wouldn't guarantee that you get this in your box. So uh, don't plan on it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they just sent me this uh, for, the, for the anchor that they uh, sent me as well. Um, and then it looks like we also have another band right here. Um, I'm not sure. 
why they included this. So yeah, looking at the headset, it does come with this band already on there. Um, it looks like this one actually has a cushion though. So I, originally I thought that this one was maybe like stretchy. Yeah, it's not stretchy. I don't know uh, why, why they included this one instead of that. Maybe it's for people who don't like having that cushion on there, uh, which is not me. I love the cushion. Uh, but yeah, maybe it's for that or people with the smaller heads. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so there is that other band in there if you decide to use that instead of the one that has a cushion on it. Uh, so there's that. And then that looks like pretty much everything else in the box. And then we have this uh, little manual telling you all the setup steps. Um, which I'll definitely be using uh, when we actually get to that uh, point. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at that headset now that we finally have everything out of the box. Um, as you can see, we do have all these uh, little pads that come with it. Uh, so yeah, you have three total rear head pads and then uh, three total uh, four head pads as well. And these look like the cloth ones and they're held on there uh, with some Velcro right there. <laughs> a nice little smiley face Velcro design if y'all can see that, which is pretty funny. Um, so we have that and then the other front one is also held on with some Velcro right there. I'm not sure uh, what the difference between this pad and this one are. Uh, this one definitely feels a lot softer, I will tell you that. But yeah, they're both, uh, I, I'm pretty sure, uh, cloth little uh, material. Um, but I guess this one is black and then this one's like uh, that TV static pattern if you like that one more. Um, so yeah, you do have those pads and then you got this little thing right there which you can extend the length of your head or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you all how to uh, set this thing up. And then you also have these little adjustable things right here. Um, so that one moves. Ooh, that one does not but this one yeah this one moves this one moves and then this one maybe moves i don't want to break it but uh that that's a maybe moves <laughs> that's a maybe moves but yeah we'll have to see when we actually set up this bad boy i'm gonna go ahead and get out the next item though we have to unbox all right next up we have the magnetic facial interface let's go ahead and take a look at the box starting with the front you know we have a easy swap between normal and open face mode uh, different materials and then we have a brief little look at what these facial interfaces are going to look like you know wider for elite stock straps uh, standard for halo straps which i'm pretty sure are the ones that we might have and then we have features on the right side softer and more comfortable facial pads magnetic attaching convenient for swapping between normal and open face mode uh, or different facial pads within uh, family and friends uh, and then we have improved airflow design one-stop solution three set pads in different materials uh, meet different users preference season scenarios. Uh, the PU pad is sweat proof and the fabric ones are sweat absorbing, breathable and washable. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I like the washable. Uh, and then we have uh, two widths are provided for users to choose from the wider ones uh, for the stock uh, or elite straps, uh, buffer pressure on the face. The standard ones are for the halo style straps, easier fit. And then looking on the back, it's pretty much the same. And then the same on the other side. And then we have the logo there again. Um, but that's actually pretty nice. I didn't know they'd also include three pads on this thing. So that is pretty cool. Okay, taking a look in there. Uh, so this is just sort of tips. That's cool that they include it there so you don't miss it. You know, make sure you're looking at that. And then we have a little manual right here. Uh, and then we also have a little tool right there looking like it's a, that's a, I hope that's not too complicated. <laughs> I hope that's not too complicated. Uh, and then we have a step-by-step -step guide right there. And then we have all these pads right here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's actually a pretty nice material. Oh my, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so yeah, these are the magnets right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other pads though before we get into that. So we have this one as well. All right, so yeah, we have all these pads right here. So yeah, that's everything that comes in the box. Let's move that to the side. So yeah, we have these three pads right here. All right, so yeah. And then you have that easy little uh, snap on effect. Let's see, ooh yeah. That's pretty satisfying. <laughs> that is pretty sad. I'm not gassing them up. I'm actually just entertained. <laughs> But as you can see guys, there is tons of customizability with this facial interface, which is always amazing to see because you know, not everyone has the same uh, little facial structure. So it's cool that they included so many options. Uh, taking a look at the pads though, they're pretty much the same as the ones that we already looked at, you know, same pattern. This is the cloth one. Um, and then we also have this one, which is also cloth, but it's a little bit softer than that gray one. Um, and then we have the leather one or the fake leather one, which I think is my favorite uh, personally. Uh, then again, it does not absorb sweat and sometimes sweat does get into my eye uh, when it drips down from my forehead. Uh, but you know, I like this one the most because you could just wipe it off. But then again, I might switch to these because I didn't know that they were machine washable. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that is the facial interface. Now let's get to our final item that we have to unbox and then we'll finally get to that assembly. 
But now, last but not least, we have the silicone light blocker for the Quest 3. Taking a look at the box, it also does say on the front that it magnetizes uh, to that facial interface base, which I'm assuming is talking about that last item that we just unboxed. Uh, taking a look at the left side, we have some features right here. It says only compatible with the Halo head straps, uh, not fit the Elite head straps or stock head straps. Compared to the foam pads, the silicone facial interface offers a cooler sensation, especially during the summer months. You know, I definitely understand that living in Texas every month is a summer month. You know, let's be real. And then we have magnetically attaches design uh, and it is compatible with the globular cluster F3 magnetic base frame perfectly, uh, which I'm assuming is the last item that we unboxed. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up now. I know you are tired of waiting. Let's go ahead and just see what we're working with. I like that they put a sticker right there so you don't miss it, you know, right in front of your eyes. Uh, and then sort of just giving you a uh, little directions on how to uh, do all that fun stuff right there. Okay, so yeah, it does come with that little uh, magnetic stuff on it already. Dang, oh. oh, well, I tore it. <laughs> All right, taking a look inside. Wow. Dang, that's pretty cool. I kind of just want to stick it on the other thing. All right, so I have all the all the little things right there from the last thing we just unboxed, and it should just magnetize on there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ultra long that's crazy yeah that, that that could fit a baby's face you know if you want to put your baby in <laughs> that is pretty cool so yeah this is uh compatible with all those other customizable little bases that we had on the last item um but yeah let's go ahead and take a look at this thing it is a little bit of a harder uh, silicone compared to the other silicone that we've uh, felt previously um, but that is pretty cool uh, and i'll probably might be using that i'm not sure i'll just have to see what pads i'm really messing with and which ones you know i decide not to use but yeah so we also have this light blocker attachment if we decide to use this if we're getting some uh, light leakage on the headset uh, so yeah that is pretty cool but now it is finally time to get to the moment y'all have all been waiting for which is the assembly um, and we're gonna go, go ahead and uh, take this headset apart because you know I already have some uh, third party attachments already on there. So I'm probably gonna take all this off and then I'll get back to y'all right when I've done that. And just like that folks, it is finally time to assemble this headset. I got everything bare bones except for this little silicone cover that I have on my Quest. Uh, I decided that I wanna keep that on, but if it interferes with any of the attachments, I'll probably just take it off and cut this out. But yeah, we have everything ready to go. So let's go ahead and get our actual headset area now. So we have this ready to go. And then we can go ahead and just slide this onto these little uh, areas right here. Um, so you can sort of see how, where it grabs the headset. So I'll go ahead and slide those on now. And just like that, I hope y'all can see everything. Slide on there and it does grip it really, really well because it does have these little rubber pads right there. So let's go ahead and slide these on. And you can adjust those to wherever you want, I'm pretty sure. But I was just doing that so we can get this little Velcro piece right here. It's probably easier to take off this pad uh, before you do this uh, so you have a little bit of room to move that thing around so let's go ahead and take this off and then we have that and then as you can see the little thing is right there and then we'll go ahead and when we, ha we have a lot more slack now all right so now we're going to go ahead and feed this through here this is always the probably the most tedious part is ju just getting that velcro through that little area right there so let's go ahead and do that all right now that we've got this fed through there you can go ahead and velcro that to the other piece right there, as you can see. And then this is where it sort of gets a little bit tedious as they were telling me, is you really just have to adjust it until um, it's sort of at a height or a, an angle that you really like. So you can tilt this little forehead uh, band right here in all different directions, up, down, lift up that part instead, because you know there are two different moving areas right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's probably decent I, I don't know just yet but i'm gonna go ahead and say that's all right and then this velcro is gonna stick to that forehead uh, velcro right there so let's go ahead and uh put that in the middle and then stick that right there and then we can go ahead and put on whatever uh pad that we want i'm gonna go ahead and put on uh that leather pad that i like um, just because it's my favorite uh, so let's go ahead and put that on i'm pretty sure it goes on this way so let's do that. That's looking good. Ooh. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Now let's go ahead and put on that rear head pad that's right here. So we'll take off this one. Um, Cause you know, I don't really, I don't mind this one, but you know, I, I want something different. So we're gonna go with that little, little hexagonal design 
I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like, so let's go ahead and slap that right there. It also looks like there are some adjustable uh, points right here. I didn't notice before, um, but it looks like you could shift uh, this sort of down or up um, wherever your head uh, would be. Like I said, there's a lot of customizability and they did say it would be quite tedious uh, to just sort of get it in the way that you want it. But I'm sure once you get it into the customizable options that you like, um, it is a very comfortable headset. But let me go ahead and put this thing in now. I want it to make sure it's center. I think that is good. All right, so we have all the cushions that we want on the uh, headset now, but now it's finally time to put on that facial interface. And this is where uh, that, that silicone little cover would interfere. So I hope it doesn't, because uh, then I have to take it all apart. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, sort of put this in there. This is a pretty easy part when there's nothing on it, because it really just snaps into there. Um, and sometimes you gotta be a little bit forceful with it and all just slide in real nicely and easy. There that is. And it's all clicked together, easy as that. If only I had used my brain. <laughs> but now I'm gonna see if I could go ahead and put on the silicone pad, um, which I really hope I can, cause I love it. And boom, just like that, I was able to make my silicone cover fit. Awesome, I'm really happy about that. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and put everything back together now and then we'll get to the next step. All right, guys, now that we have the base of the facial interface installed, we can go ahead and pick out which facial uh, interface pad that we would like to use. And I, <laughs> to no one's surprise, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using the leather pad right there. Cause you know, I don't like, uh... I don't like sweat being absorbed. I like it just dripping in my uh, in my eyes. <laughs> so that's why we're going with this one. And then we can also use some of these little uh, customizable, I guess they're sort of the spacers would be a good term for them. Uh, we could also use some of these spacers if it does not fit right. But I'm gonna go ahead and put in this pad first and see how everything looks and if it all uh, fits together very nicely. So let's go ahead and try it out. Try putting this thing in there. Oh my goodness. And it's easy as that. And it's easy as that. That's actually pretty cool. How, how, how secure is it though? It's pretty secure. <laughs> it's pretty secure. Uh, but now I guess it's time to finally try on this bad boy. You know, I was gonna put on this little light uh, leakage thing right here, but I feel like that's too much. I feel like that's a little bit overkill. Um, but it is there if I do have any light uh, leakage issues. I guess we just have to try it out first and see if we have any light leakage. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera and we're gonna try this out and then I'll probably have to tweak it a bit um, to sort of get it to fit right on my face. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And one more thing that we didn't even try out is the, the battery attachment. You know, we didn't even put this thing on. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to do that real quick. It's pretty simple. So we got our battery right there along with our cable and that just slides into that little slot right there. Easy as that. And then it comes around and it attaches to the side of your headset right there. And it's charging. Isn't that just neat? All right, guys, it's finally time to try out the brand new setup. Look at that thing. It's looking insane. It's looking insane. So let's go ahead and try it out now. Start by loosening up that and then putting it on. All right, tighten it up. <laughs> I hope there's not so many things that I gotta readjust. All right. I think I do have to uh, point it downwards though and loosen that first. Start by, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. Oh yeah, that's nice. All right. So yeah, turn the headset angle downwards and then tighten. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right. All right. One thing I think I understand now is why uh, they have uh, just that band in the, they, they have just this thing right here. Um, and that's sort of just because once you have this little halo forehead cushion right here, this cushion doesn't really do too much. I still like having it there, but I can see why uh, they included this thing now or why people would use that. Cause uh, then it would just sort of have it tied up there um, instead of with this uh, cushion where it's a little bit loose. Cause you already have another cushion right there, but I'm gonna keep the cushion there cause I like it, but. It's pretty good so far. Let me do a little bit of, <laughs> no. let me, uh... but guys, there's still one more thing that I almost forgot. And that is the silicone light blocker that they sent me. So let's go ahead and try that out. Take out this leather piece. 
easy as that. <laughs> you know, I'm really, I'm really liking this magnet thing. <laughs> I'm really liking it. And then we'll go ahead and put in that silicone light blocker into there. And it's easy as that. It's in. It's time, folks. Let's try out this bad boy now. Oh, probably take off my hat. Here we go. Well, uh, <laughs> it does indeed block light. <laughs> it does indeed. It's not false advertising. Yeah, it, it does a really good job of blocking all that light, but, you know, and this is a but, uh, it's not as comfortable as all those other pads. I don't know if you're supposed to combine this little light blocker with like another pad or something, but it's just not that comfortable uh, compared to the other pads that are already here, but it does block all that light, I will say that. Um, but yeah, very nice. You know what, folks, I think I'm gonna say it. I think I like this thing a lot. <laughs> I think I like that headset a lot more uh, than the previous stuff that I had on. Um, it's a big upgrade in terms of like how comfortable it is, a big step up. And one of the things I really like about this uh, little head strap or headset, whatever you want to call it, is uh, since there's like two notches of like places where it can adjust, it's able to like hook under the back of your head and just grasp your head a lot nicer, pause. Um, lots of good stuff I have to say about this, but there is one thing that bothers me, and it's a little thing, it doesn't really affect uh, when you're using it much, but when you're putting it on, is this little head lengthener thing right here, it's just a little bit, it's a little bit sensitive going down. Like if I was to, if I'm putting this on, I have it loosened all the way, and I, I do it like a little, there's a little bit of a jiggle going on. It goes all the way down and then I have to re-loosen it. Like it just goes down by itself a little bit. It needs to be a little bit stronger. I don't know what's the word, but I mean, it doesn't have a problem tightening against your head. It's just when you're not wearing it, a little bit of a jolt like that will just send it all the way down and then you got to readjust it. Just a little bit of a gripe, nothing, nothing that really affects it while you're using it. But yeah, guys, we had a wonderful lineup of products today and I couldn't be more thankful that they sent them to me. So again, thank you so much, Globular Cluster, for all the goodies that you sent me to review on the channel. I really do appreciate it. So if y'all want to pick up any of these products for yourselves, I'll have them all linked in the description below. But that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And it's been real. Peace out.